We're making acorn bacon. Acorn? Bacon? Step one, form an uneasy alliance with your local squirrels. Step two, harvest a bunch of acorns. Make sure there are no tiny holes on the top, no big holes along the sides. And usually I'd say make sure they don't have their hats on, but this is a Baroque. They're very stylish. They keep their hats on after they fall. This is a bad nut. <clears throat> this guy has a weird random dark spot. Bad nut. <clears throat> We're home with our nut satchel. Let's give these guys a little float test. We got two floaters. The rest seem to be good to go. I'm going to be using this contraption to crack them open. It has the best slash worst name in the world. Grandpa's Goody Getter. Well, nut smash. He's beautiful. Now make sure you peel off any of the remaining papery skin. Now put your nut meat and some water in a blender. Time to strain our acorn milk. You can set aside your acorn grits to make some acorn flour, but what we need for our bacon, weirdly, is the milk. Now it's time to go do something else because those guys are gonna need some time to settle. You should never settle though. Time has passed. All this stuff down here at the bottom? Yeah, that's acorn starch. Starch is gonna be a little better to start, so what we're gonna do is very carefully pour off this water at the top because it's carrying those bitter tannins out. Say nothing about the dishes in my sink. We replace the water we poured out with some cool fresh water. And then we wait for it to settle again. It's tomorrow now, so I've already changed the water about five times. Yeet, those tannins! So we should be good to go after this one. Now put some acorn starch, some salty mushroom dust, and some maple syrup into a bowl. Mixy, mixy. And then into a non-stick with a little oil. Swirl it until you get a nice, even, little crepey thing. If you have any gaps, just fill her in. A little fun fact while our terror crepe sets. So acorn starch typically is seen in the culinary world in the form of acorn jelly, otherwise known as the torimuk, which is a traditional Korean dish. And it's super tasty. I have a video on it from last year. It's bad though, don't go looking for it. I'm gonna redo it. You want this guy to cook in here until he's a sheet, not a goo pile. Now I've separated my creepy crepe into four strips and now we're adding some vegan butter to get things crispy. Trust the process. Flip them if you're brave. Okay, but y'all, what do we say about trust in the process? Ding, sparkle, sparkle. Let's try a piece. Good crunch. I can't believe this worked. Savory, a little smoky because I left it in the pan a little too long. Some mapleiness comes through. A little nuttiness even comes through from the acorn. Is it the same as bacon? No, you silly billy. But it is salty, meaty, and crunchy. It makes for a mean BLT. So happy snacking. Don't die.